What is up guys, Jay Blanks here from Blanks Gaming with another Monster Hunter video and this video will be a quick video on the Piscine Researcher bounties as well as the locations of the fish you need to catch in order to complete those bounties. I also just released a video on the Endemic Researcher bounties as well as the locations of those animals you need to complete those bounties and how to unlock the Downy Crake or Phantom Bird bounty. So be sure to check that out if you guys are curious on where those locations are and also if you guys learned something today or if this video helps you guys out feel free to drop a like and feel free to subscribe it really does help the channel out and having said that let's begin the video so as i mentioned in the previous video a very important item to have is the ghillie mantle because it does camouflage you preventing the animal or fish from running away when you approach it so it's very useful for completing these bounties. And the three steps to complete these bounties is to talk to the researcher and then capture whatever type of fish they need and then head back to Astera to claim the rewards. And the Piscine researcher is going to want you to catch a certain type of fish in each of the different maps and in order to locate the Piscine researcher you're just going to hover over each of the maps and in the research section it should say Piscine Researcher and then you'll know he's in that map and this changes each time you go in and out of a quest and as well as an investigation or expedition. And once in the map just go to the exclamation point indicated on your mini map and that'll be where the Piscine Researcher is located. The first location will be in the ancient forest and the researcher will want you to catch a pink Perexis and this can be found in the pond where the researcher is standing next to so it's a very easy bounty to complete and you can knock it out within a couple of seconds. Moving on to the wild spire waste and the researcher is going to want you to catch a sunfish and it's very easy to find you just keep going left until you see a body of water and the piscine researcher and then you're going to want to fish until you find the sunfish. Now there's a couple of fish in here so you're going to have to keep trying until you get the right one but again very simple very easy to complete. Next on the list we have the Coral Highlands and you want to get to Sector 7 because you want to catch a gunpowder fish and what you want to do is pretty much just jump off the ledge and keep going straight until you see some vines that you can climb to your right as you can see right here. You climb up and then you keep climbing up more vines to your right and then you go to your left. You'll see vines but you want to walk straight past that and you'll come to a little pond and this is where you'll find the gunpowder fish. They're really small and really hard to see so again keep trying until you get the right fish. In the Rotten Vale Central Camp number 11 the researcher is going to ask you to catch a golden fish and in order to get there you're just going to jump down turn right and then you're going to keep going straight until you see a cave to your right side. Climb up those vines and go all the way to the end of the cave and eventually you'll see another small pond of glowing water and there you can find the golden fish. Again, very simple, very easy to complete. The last location will be in Elder Recess. You want to go to camp number one and the researcher is going to want you to catch a platinum fish. So in order to get to the location, you want to go through the gap and keep climbing down. As you can see here, I actually got a little lost, so I opened the map, then I realized I was going the wrong way, so I turned around, and I realized that the pond or location of the fish was actually right across from where we jumped. As you can see here, there's a small body of water, and if you fish there, you'll be able to catch the platinum fish. Okay, so we finally captured all of the fish and we completed all of the bounties. So we want to head back to Astera to claim those rewards. And then we can finally unlock the final bounty, which is catching the ancient fish. So we want to head back to the Rotten Vale to the location of the golden fish. And what we want to do is keep trying until you see the spawn because it does have a low chance of spawning, just like the Downy Crake. And this fish will take a lot more work to catch than a regular fish. As you can see here, you have to keep tapping circle and move your joystick to the left and right. And eventually you'll be able to pull it out and catch the ancient fish. 
Also, just like the endemic researcher, once you complete the final bounty and claim the reward, you can actually head back to the Piscine researcher and claim a bonus reward, which is also a gold wyvern print, which can be traded in for high level materials such as gems in order to craft higher level weapons. That pretty much wraps up the video on the Piscine Researcher as well as the fish locations and how to unlock the ancient fish bounty. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, feel free to drop a like and feel free to subscribe. It really does help the channel out and I really do appreciate all of the support. Also, be sure to check out the Endemic Researcher video I just came out with if you guys haven't completed those bounties yet. And having said all that, this is Jay Blanks from Blanks Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.